All right, look, what everyone needs to realize is that there's a time and there's a place for everything. And now, thankfully, is the time and place for pens. All right, all right, we got a new package here for my friend Belinda. And a lot of people have been asking about this for a long time, but we got in here a bunch of fountain pen related things. Fountain pens at last. People are always like, Peter, are you gonna draw the fountain pens? Do you ever draw the fountain pens? When are you gonna draw the fountain pens? Fountain pens, fountain pens, fountain pens. And I was just like, I don't know. Maybe I do, maybe I have. I don't even really know what a fountain pen is. Well now, here is a bunch of stuff. First of all, first thing I noticed was I thought this was like, I thought it was like some medical biohazard stuff, some blood samples, or, or I thought I was gonna have to reenact that scene in World War Z where he injected himself with a random deadly disease. A lot of these look pretty crazy. But these are actually just samples of a bunch of different inks. I wanna take them all out of the bag so I can look at all the colors and read all the names, but then I feel like I'll make a huge mess. Uh, but I don't know if I should. Anyway, it's kind of cooler in the bags anyways, cause you can like, you can like hold them up to the light. Wait, this one looks like a little urine sample. Wait, there's a cooler one. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, they were so neat in the bags. There we go. You only need, you only need one bag anyways. That really does look like little medical samples. I don't know. Uh. Uh, apparently all these pens are from uh, gouletpens.com by way of Belinda or by from Belinda by way of gouletpens.com. I don't know. All right. These are vaguely pen shaped objects. That's what we've got here. <gasps> Whales. That's a, that's a catfish as big as a whale right there. Sorry for yelling. I'm sorry for yelling. Here it says, oh. over here it says, Noodler Ahab. And I, I dropped the pen. Oh, there's a thing in here. The Ahab pen. Oh, it's got its own like cover art. Oh, oh no. Do I have to go to college to use this pen? Oh my goodness. I have to go buy a textbook. Amazing. Fountain pen in green. And then this one says uh, KawikoPen.com. Try not to drop this one. Nothing else in there. This one says Kawiko Sport on it. You know, this one's just another one of those words I'm probably saying wrong. It's got a cool emblem on the tip there. That's pretty sweet. Hmm. I like the green and gold color scheme. I do like that. It's very regal, very, very becoming. <gasps> Guys. Is this like a a complimentary th uh, thing? Is this a thing? I don't know if Belinda sent this or Goulet. Hmm. Well, I probably shouldn't do this on camera, right? All right, I shouldn't do that while I'm recording a video. Just put it right back in there. And save it for later. Be good to go. All right. All right, there's another note right here. It says, Peter. Oh, this note's from Belinda. It says, Peter, did I get, did I get candy? The Noodler's pen is a flex pen. I added a converter for the Kawiko so that you can fill it. The extra fine ones are great for drawing. The Noodler's has an, mm, what is that word? It has an ac 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 an neat and that has something. It definitely has something that will need to be heat set. Pop me a message when you get it. The yellow ink is black light, and the shelf are samples to play with. I think some people's handwriting is just, it's too pure for this world. It's just too good for me, you know? Cause that's probably totally legible. And I just, you know, there's two notebooks here. One Rhodia and one, 
Well, no, one notebook and the, and, and the good old fashioned rodeo. Rodeo does have nice paper. I like those. Well, oh wait, this must be the black, the glow in the dark black inks that was being so spoken of. This one actually looks like a urine sample. Getting a lot of urine sample-y, medical, scary, biohazard grade stuff right now. I have to open it. They always fill these things so full. This guy has a really interesting smell. It's subtle, but uh, it's there. Actually, it's not that subtle. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. Oh. Don't, what? What is? <laughs> this pen smells terrible, dude. This is the wor one of the worst smelling things. Uh, I mean, I mean, as far as um, art supplies, this is one of the worst smelling things I've ever smelled. All right, so while I didn't end up having to go to night school to get these pens working, I did watch one YouTube video on how to do what they call heat setting the pen, the tip of the pen, I think. This, the Ahab something or other. This is not actually a pen from Goulet Pens. I think Goulet is the, the, the supplier, the provider, the something or other. This is like, there's been like a long chain of things and events and people and something or other and it has eventually gotten to me. I watched a YouTube video regardless on how to heat set it. I like, I like microwaved some water and I left it in there for a second or two, 30 seconds and then pressed it together. There's some special, some special material, I think, which this material is the word, um, which I couldn't make out on Belinda's note. It's carbonite or something. Um, it, if, anyways, it does, it's, it's, it's immaterial. It's a material that's immaterial. I, the point is, I got the pens working, and uh, oh boy, oh boy, do they work. They're great. Um, yeah, th these, th it's just so satisfying. It really is. There's one thing I will caution. I will caution, I've noticed it, and now this is something I've always noticed. Am I saying notice too much now? I get paranoid about what words I use and how often. I know, I've given up. I've Long ago I gave up on saying you know too much, it's fine. Some things you just gotta embrace and move on to the next words you're gonna use and say too much. All right, um, but one thing I've noticed is that I don't know if it's because of uh, the paper I'm using, the ink I'm using, or maybe like just the skin, you know, how many oils are on my skin, but this Noodler ink, I'm using Noodler ink here uh, with a Noodler pen, I think, the Ahab pen, made by Noodler perhaps, I don't, I don't know, uh, on Rhodia paper, um, but it does seem to smudge quite easily, all right? So you have to be careful of that. And so I was, I was quite aware of this the whole time I was doing this doodle uh, in the sense that I did start the doodle up on the left side and then kind of tried to work down towards the right. Uh, and I only, I only went back up towards the left part of the drawing when I knew that the stuff I was going to be putting my hands on top of I had given it, you know, like plenty, you know, gracious, plenty amounts of time to dry. All right, so I kept that in mind. People ask me, like, Peter, how do you, how do you keep from smudging stuff? Well, one thing you can do is you can blow on it before you do it. You can look at it, uh, but m mostly you just got to be careful. Uh, if you know you're dealing with something which smudges easily, it really just comes down to being careful. And uh, another thing you can do is have a fan on. The more the air around you is circulating, the fan doesn't even have to be really blowing right on you, but if there's a fan on, it, it helps the ink to dry faster. Some ink, however, um, I mean, it'll smudge even if it looks like it's dry. It won't, it, and it won't actually be completely dry. I don't know. There's probably some little, you know, 
probably people will leave little comments, you know, like, uh, Peter, you can put a piece of paper under your hand or wear a smudge guard. All of these things can help, but ultimately it helps to just, uh, you know, be careful and don't put your hand on top of wet ink. That's like the number one thing you can do to prevent smudging. Um, I was just thinking how awful it would be to, uh, write with some of these. These pens are really satisfying, by the way, to, to like color in big, dark, solid black areas. Uh, they just like lay down the ink really satisfying, really full, really, it's just, it just kind of pours onto the paper in the perfect amount, the perfect, it just, it just, it's just out there, on there. I don't know, it was really good. So you might notice in this drawing, I did have a lot more dark, solid, pitch black areas than I do in some drawings. I don't know. I don't even know what I do anymore, but I enjoyed it. And uh, but anyways, I was going to say, I know a lot of people, like left-handed people, complain a lot of the time uh, about, you know, smudging and one thing I've never understood, though, is they st left-handed people still complain about smudging when they're drawing. They're like, ah, I can't draw with this pen. I'm left-handed. I'm like, but I don't think that has... To, but you don't have to draw from left to right. You can draw from right to left. Just draw in whatever order you want. Anyways, maybe it's just built. Maybe it's all a, maybe it's a habit thing. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, it was great. Everything went smoothly. I have... Anyways, I love the pen. I'll, I'll definitely use it again in the future. I didn't use the Kawiko Sport in this video, really. And then I tried some of the black light, like UV light ink, but it didn't show up on the Rhodia paper too well because I think the Rhodia paper itself showed up really bright in the black light, so it was like two bright things on top of each other. Uh, so I pulled out another little sketchbook that came in the package and wrote a secret message to myself that no one uh, would ever see. And I made a few little secret uh, diagrams that some aliens may have handed down to me uh, when I was abducted um, earlier today. And uh, it's, just, it's just, it's good to have the ability to make those notes uh, that you know no one will ever be able to see um, in little notebooks like that. And you can carry them around um, you know, publicly in your pocket, in your backpack, and not worry about being, you know, peeped on, spied on, uh, as, as long as no one else has any, like a, like a UV light, a black light or anything like that. You're good to go. You can rest easy. You can sleep at night. Um, it's fine. Everything is perfect. And it's a lot of fun. It, and it worked well. And I had, everything is, uh, well, everything is, everything's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Um, thanks. Thanks for watching, everybody. And, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Oops. Where's the stop?